Cebuanos are those people living in Visayas and Mindanao region. Cebu is known to be a fishing village before the Spaniards came, but it later then became industrialized and modernized as years passed by. Cebuanos are known to be highly Christianized people. Spanish culture has a strong influence on Cebuano culture, which is why the Cebuanos have a lot of festivals, celebrations dedicated to their patron saints. The most famous is the Sinulog Santo Niño festival. Sinulog is the most colorful festival in the city and is considered as the center of Santo Niño celebrations in the country. Cebu is not only a popular tourist destination for its fine beaches and historic landmark. Cebu has multiple gastronomic delights that may never fail to satisfy your plate. From the popular dried seafood dangit to the crispy and lamentable lechon and other pasalubong varieties such as the popular dried mangoes and ota as for keepsakes to your friends. Cebu has them all. Some of their most popular dishes include puso, Punko Punko, Soto Kill, and many more. Cebuano's love for the music is apparent, to the point that Spanish Jesuit missionary Francisco Alzina described them to hardly refrain from the singing unless they are asleep or ill. Songs and genres varies and ranges from folk songs, depicting their local and everyday life, children's experiences, lullabies, love and courtship songs, debate songs, and even drinking songs. Each song is filled with stories and emotions. One of their famous festivals focused on the use of three instruments such as percussion, wind, and string instruments. Though their most famous influence when it comes to musical instrument is the guitar. <laughs> There's something for everyone on this beautiful island. Here are some notable places to visit while you are in Cebu. First is the Magellan's Cross, where you can discover the rich history and cultural heritage of Cebu as you visit the site where the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan planted the cross to signify the arrival of Christianity in the Philippines. Basilica de Santo Niño, which is one of the most religious sites in the Philippines, and you can also see the oldest religious relic in the Philippines is the Santo Niño de Cebu. Let's take a step back in history and explore the military defense structure built by the Spanish conquistador Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, also known as Fort San Pedro, which offers a glimpse into Cebu's rich history and cultural heritage again. Then, let's learn about the island's past and be fascinated about its fortification.